This video is about functional groups. So basically, we'll be just naming and identifying the different functional groups found in various organic compounds. So to classify, we have hydrocarbons. Yeah, um, in under hydrocarbons, we have alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic compounds. So yung apat na yan yung unahin natin discuss dito sa video na to. We also have derivatives of water, which are alcohols, ethers, and phenols. We also have alkyl and aryl halide. So these are um, basically alkanes or hydrocarbons that are attached to uh, halides, um, iodine, chlorine, or uh, bromine. Next, we will be discussing carbonyl compounds. So carbonyl compounds are compounds that contain the carbon oxygen double bond. Okay, they are usually attached to hydrogens or carbons depending on the functional groups. So we have two types, aldehydes and ketones. Tapos meron din tayo ng acyl compounds. So acyl compounds are uh, somewhat like carbonyl compounds except they have this different uh, group. Okay? So hindi alkyl or hindi hydrogen ang nakakabit dun sa isang side ng acyl groups. So, we will be exploring those uh, functional groups also. We have carboxylic acids, acyl halides, amides, esters, and anhydrides. Okay? We also have thiols and sulfides. So, thiols and sulfides are um, compounds of sulfur. Okay? So, we'll be uh, discussing the, those compounds as well. So first, before tayo mag-start mag-name uh, ng mga compounds, we should learn a special technique to write uh, certain compounds. Kasi may mga natutunan tayo sa CHEM 18 na Lewis structures. And sometimes, the organic compounds tend to become very big. Okay? So kapag malalaki na kasi yung structures, mas mahihirapan tayong isulat kapag Lewis structure yung, uh, yung technique natin o yung approach natin sa pagsusulat. So, um, due to this, we have, uh, or the chemistry community, devised a certain uh, structure uh, drawing scheme or uh, illustration that would be easier for a lot of chemists to uh, apply. So, ito yung uh, tinatawag natin skeletal structure. So, sa skeletal structure, okay, you see from the Lewis structure, nakita natin ang compound na to na, na convert sa skeletal structure. So from the Lewis structure, we will we see that the carbons and hydrogens are uh, seen. Okay? Nakikita natin yung connectivity nila. And that's actually how you uh, do a typical Lewis structure. Okay? Condensed structure, tinatanggal na nila yung line between the carbon and the hydrogens. So, if you have condensed structure, hindi mo na isusulat yung line between carbon and hydrogen like what is being done kapag ka sa Lewis structure. Okay? However, if you took uh, this and make it simpler, we have the skeletal structure. So, yung mga carbons dito, corners na lang sila. And the hydrogens attached to those carbons are implied. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin ng implied? So, kapag ka nakita nyo, for example, this carbon is connected to two. Okay? So, itong carbon na to yung ating focus. Nak kapag nakita nyo yung carbon na to na nakakabit sa dalawang carbon. Okay? And you know that carbons always have four bonds. The rest of the two bonds, okay? Yung mga hindi nyo nakikitang bonds are carbon-hydrogen bonds. So, hindi na yan pinapakita sa skeletal structure. Okay? So, nakatago na lang sila. Yeah. Ganyan ang uh, pagka, pagka-drawing ng skeletal structure. Hindi na natin pinabakita yung mga carbon-hydrogen bonds as much as possible. Okay? Except for some special cases. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ko ng mga uh, special cases? So, for example, we have um, an, al an alcohol. So, C... C2H5OH. So, this is ethanol. So, ang ethanol ay C, 
H3 C H2 O H This is the uh, Kekulay or the Lewis structure of uh, ethanol. Pero kapag ginawa natin siyang skeletal structure, magiging corners na lang yung dalawang carbon na to. So, magiging 1, carbon, 2, and then you write the OH. Okay? So, hindi natin na pinakita yung mga carbon hydrogen bonds. So, ano yung sinasabi ko kanina na special cases? For example, we have um, acetaldehyde. So, C... H3 C O H So acetaldehyde has this particular Lewis structure C double bond O H Okay So ano siya um, Ang tawag dyan ay aldehyde Okay So mamaya didiscuss natin yung aldehydes and ketones So kapag ginawa mo siyang uh, Skeletal structure Ang mangyayari Carbon number 1 Carbon number 2. And dun sa carbon number 2, pansin nyo, may double band O. Okay? Pero ilalagay pa rin natin si H. Okay? Usually, ganun ang ginagawa ng mga chemists. Okay? Nilalagay pa rin nila yung H. Because uh, this is an aldehyde functional group. So, this functional group is actually special. Kaya, makikita natin dyan yung hydrogen or yung carbon-hydrogen bonds. Okay? So, yan yung uh, mga... Iilan sa mga special cases. So, more examples. So, if you write C6H6, for example, yung benzene. So, benzene has this particular uh, Lewis structure. Okay. So, napapansin nyo, medyo tedious gumawa ng Lewis structure pag malalaki na ang molecules. So, ganyan ang benzene. So, what if we convert this to uh, a skeletal structure? So, madali na lang siya. We just write a hexagon representing the six carbons. And all those carbons are connected to a hydrogen. So, hindi mo na ilalagay mga hydrogen. All of those are implied. Tapos, ilalagay mo na lang yung mga double bond. So, that's very clean. Okay? Simple lang. And you already understand na meron siyang anim na hydrogen at may anim na carbon. So, how do you identify how many hydrogens each carbon has? So, for example, ito sa carbon na to. Meron na siyang 1, okay, 2, and 3 na bonds. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang isang, okay, implied na hydrogen. So, lahat yan, pare-pareho. Okay? Kaya magkakaroon tayo dyan ng anim na hydrogens na hindi pinakita dun sa structure or uh, tawag dyan ay implied sila. Okay? So, balik tayo dun sa slide. Okay? So, that's how you write skeletal structures. So, punta na tayo sa naming. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry has its system na actually it's very neat kasi you can uh, name a certain compound using a lot of different ways. Pero, uh, for a certain name, it should only point to one compound. Okay? Hindi pwedeng may dalawang compounds sa isang name. That's very dangerous in the practical sense. Diba? Uh, pero pwede sa isang compound na marami siyang different names. Okay lang. Okay? Kasi may iba-iba tayong ina-adapt na system. And, uh, mas maganda yung ganong klase ng case kasi mas maraming um, pwedeng meaning or maraming pwedeng uh, translation ng isang compound. Kasi hindi naman palagi na ayupak ang ginagamit ng mga people or mga scientists. Okay? May mga sarili-sarili silang system na minsan in na nila for ages. Okay? So, yan yung uh, aim ng, uh, ng system ito. And sometimes, yung compound kasi, it's too big for the IUPAC system. So, binibigyan mo na lang sila minsan ng common name. Okay? So, what's uh, the IUPAC system? So, the system is uh, formulated such that the compound has a prefix. Okay? The prefix will be uh, the representation of each substituent or each uh, uh, group 
attached to the compound or to the main compound. Okay? The parent chain is the longest chain. So, kung meron kang isang chain ng carbon or more than one chain ng carbon, you should choose the longest chain of carbons. Okay? So, for example, you have this particular compound. Okay? Pwede tayong magsulat ng ilang possible chains dyan. So, pwedeng ito yung chain, di ba? Ayan. So, it's composed of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. Pwede rin ito yung chain natin. This one. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 to. Ito ay 5, 7. Pwede rin 1. Ito rong chain na to. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 then yung longest chain niya. So, ibig sabihin, okay, kung tanggalin natin lahat, ang chain na pwede ay ito, because it is 7 carbons, or pwede yung ito. Okay? So, those are the longest chains. And, the metal group here, or the group here, becomes the substituent. and the parent chain. So, pwedeng dalawa yung parent chain kasi magkasing haba sila. So, meron siyang dalawang possible names. Or actually, in this case, isa lang. Kasi ito ay identical uh, chains. So, kahit anong chain ang piliin mo, magiging pareho lang din ang pangalan ng compound na yan. Okay? Anyway, yun yung uh, sa parent chain. Suffix, okay, identifies the functional group of the compound. So, kapag ka meron kang uh, suffix, for example, uh, oic acid, you will know that it is a carboxylic acid. Or for example, meron siyang ing, okay? You'll know that it's an alkene, substituted alkene, or an analog of an alkene. Okay? If you have uh, own, okay? The suffix tells you that it is a ketone. Okay? So, marami pang iba. And we will learn each naming or each uh, technique or each um, method of uh, naming for each functional group. So, for the parent chain, meron tayong iba't ibang uh, prefix okay, for the parent chain. Kasi, um, all those parent chains are carbon chains. So, madali lang siyang, uh, actually madali lang siyang i-associate sa prefix kasi numbers lang siya. Okay? So, if you have three carbons, that's a prop. Okay? Yun yung kanyang prefix. Kapag two, eth. Okay? So, for example, yung ethane. Ethane has two carbons. Propane has three carbons. Butane has four. Pentane, hexane, and heptane, octane, also, and so on. So, octane has eight carbons. So, yung ginagamit nyo sa gasoline, that's octane. Okay? Although, not technically octane, it's an octane uh, isomer. So, dito, sa organic compounds, we have a certain classification. So, we, meron tayong hydrocarbons. Yun yung may mga CH bond lang. Okay? CH and CCO bonds only. Okay? Tapos meron tayong aliphatics. Aliphatics are uh, chains. Okay? Yung wala silang uh, benzene ring. Or, pwede rin naman silang... Um, cyclic pero hindi hindi sila nagkakaroon ng mga benzene ring tulad ng aromatics kasi ang aromatic ring meron siyang benzene group so this particular uh, group has a stability or has a property that is unique na hindi mo makikita sa typical hydrocarbon okay so alkenes alkenes alkynes and cyclic analogs yun yung mga aliphatics okay Kapag naman may heteroatom, so meron kang uh, mga heteroatom like yung mga uh, halides. Oh, so, we will represent halides as X. Okay. So, yung X na yan, pwede siyang chlorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Pwede rin siyang mga uh, oxygen. Okay. Pwede double band O, pwede siyang OH. Okay. So, yung double band O, meron yan ang mga aldehydes and ketones and yung mga uh, acyl groups. Tapos, yung OH, meron niya ng mga alcohols. 
Okay? Carboxylic acids also have OH. Phenols also have OH. Okay? And also, yung thiols, meron siyang SH naman. S is the sulfur. Okay? Tapos, yung mga nitrogen, NH2. Yun yung mga amines. Okay? Yun yung mga heteroatoms na tinatawag natin. Heteroatoms are atoms that are not carbon. Okay? Or, uh, yun yung actually general term. Okay? So, yeah. So, oxygen, halogen, nitrogen, and sometimes sulfur. So, meron tayong sulfur, phosphorus, etc. Okay? So, yang yung mga atoms na yan, they are actually uh, have their own functional group classes. So, for example, yung oxygen, yung alcohols and phenols, ethers, aldehydes and ketones, or yung carbonyl compounds. And meron tayong mga acyl compounds na may oxygen lang. Halogens, meron tayong organic halides. Okay? Yung organic halides yung mga alkyl halides. Uh, alkanes, alkenes or alkanes na merong uh, halides. Okay? Merong uh, iodine, chlorine, bromine, or F. So, acid halides, yan yung mga uh, acyl compounds na halide yung nandun sa substituent dun sa katabi ng um, acyl carbon. Okay? Nitrogen, meron tayong amines, meron tayong amides, and amino acids. Okay? Basta may N. For hydrocarbons, meron tayong system of naming. So, itong mga to ay alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Okay? So, madali lang naman. Kapag alkane, puro sp3 lang sila lahat. sp3 carbon and sp3 uh, well, wala namang sp3 hydrogen. So, puro sp3 yung carbon. Kapag alkene, meron tayong sp2 na carbon. At least one sp2 carbon. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung isa dyan, nagdo-double bond yung carbon niya. Yun yung alkene. Alkyne, meron tayong sp na carbon. So, yung isang carbon dyan ay nagtitriple bond naman. So, kapag isa lang ang carbon, you use the uh, prefix, the methane, okay, methane. So, ane, 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 okay, lahat yan kasi alkanes lang sila. Kapag naman alkanes, wala tayong alkene na sp2 pero mag-isa, wala naman tayong ganong klaseng alkene. Wala rin tayong ganong klaseng alkene. Kasi to be able to do a pi bond, kailangan mo rin ng isang carbon na sp2 or sp. Okay? Wala tayong alkene, alkyne na single carbon. So, ganun din ang naming. Kapag dalawa yung carbon, you use the prefixes. Prop, but, and X. Pero, since alkene sila, meron silang sp2, you put in naman. Kapag alkene. Kapag alkyne, same prefix, pero ayin ang ilalagay mo. Okay? So, indication nyo na meron siyang sp carbon. Okay? So, these are the formula for a purely carbon and hydrogen hydrocarbon. Yung walang uh, uh, heteroatoms. Okay? And for alkenes and alkynes, isa lang ang, or dalawa lang ang sp2. 2 sp2 only. Or 2 sp2 carbons only. Ito naman ay 2 sp carbons only. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang ang double band dyan, or isa lang ang triple band kapag ka-alkyne. Masusunod mo yung formula. Okay? Description kasi nito, at least one double band. Okay? Pero itong formula na to is applicable only to one double band. Okay? Ito rin sa alkyne. Okay? Ganun din. So, examples, we have butane. Ito yung lighter fluid. Okay? Yun yung puro sp3 lang ethylene so ang ethylene ay raw material ng plastic so if you use ethylene and you polymerize then you will produce polyethylene so that polyethylene or pet or pe or uh, kung iba-iba yung uh, substituents mo ng polyethylene yun ay actually based sa isang type ng alkene okay or the ethylene we have also the acetylene. The acetylene is an alkyne. This is an ethyne, actually. Ito ay ethane. 
Okay? Tinatawag siyang ethylene. Okay? And that's the common name. And toluene. So, toluene is a benzene. Okay? This is benzene, actually, the C6H6. Tapos nilagyan mo siya ng methyl group. That's toluene. Toluene is a solvent. It's a, like a kerosene. Okay? Yun yung kanyang nature. So, there are also types of carbons in a particular molecule. So, kapag ka yung carbon mo ay nakakabit sa nag-iisang carbon lang, okay, kunyari itong mga carbons na to in orange, lahat yan ay nakakabit sa nag-iisang carbon lang, directly attached to one carbon. Ito rin ito, sa isang carbon lang siya nakatouch. Ang tawag dyan ay primary carbons. So, lahat yan primary carbons. Kapag sa dalawang carbon nakakabit, tulad nitong nasa green, okay, nakakabit siya sa isa, at dalawang carbons, this is secondary. Okay? This one, okay, ito ay nakakabit sa 1, 2, 3. Directly nakakabit siya sa tatlong carbon. So, this is tertiary. Kapag sa apat naman, 1, 2, 3, 4, this one in dark blue is quaternary carbon. Okay, so that's uh, easy to remember. Primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary. One, two, three, four. So attached sa isa, sa dalawa, sa tatlo, sa apat na magkakaibang or uh, apat na kapitbahay niyang carbon or neighboring carbons. Okay? So how do you name alkanes? So if you name alkanes, there are three steps. Okay? Number one, identify nyo muna yung longest chain. So, we have an example here. Ang longest chain niya, hindi pwedeng itong tatlo, hindi pwedeng ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, 5. Actually, pwede yung 5. Okay, ito. Pwede yung 5. And pwede rin to. So, kapag na-identify nyo na yung longest chain okay, ng uh, structure, identify the substituents. So, for example, Ito yung aking longest chain. My substituents are here. Okay? Ang mga substituents na yan ay methyl. Bakit methyl? There are alkyl substituents. Diba? Alkanes. Kapag alkanes kasi sp3 lahat. Pero kapag ginawa mo na silang substituents, nagiging alkyl substituents. Kumbaga nagiging ano sila? Uh, adjective. Alkyl substituents. Okay? So, kapag ka methane yung substituent mo, no? that's a methyl substituent. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang methyl substituent. And then, you will count. Okay? So, mag-count tayo. So, from the longest chain, meron tayong 1. Okay? Yun yung carbon 1. Tapos 2, 3, 4, Okay? So, yan yung uh, five carbons nung longest chain. And, itong methyl na to, nakakabit sa two. Okay? And, yung isang methyl na to, nakakabit sa four. Okay? So, ngayon, in na natin siya. Unahin natin yung substituents. So, ngayon tayo. Two, comma, four. Okay? Since pareho silang methyl groups, pwede nating sabihin na they are a dimethyl. Okay? Di. Ibig sabihin ng di, dalawa. Dimethyl. So, ibig sabihin, may dalawa siyang methyl. Okay? And the alkane, the longest chain here, is a pentane. So, that's the name of the compound. 2,4 dimethyl pentane. Okay? Some more examples. Mayroon tayong mga uh, examples pa dito. Okay? Okay. So, let's name some compounds. Again, number one, identify the longest chain. So, ano ang longest chain dito? So, bilang tayo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Diba? Yun yung longest chain. Kasi, one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7 lang to. Ito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lang din yung chain na yun. 
So, dapat ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, mag-a-assign tayo ng, or maghahanap tayo ng substituent. So, ito yung dalawang substituent doon sa chain. Maga sila yung mga branches ng chain na yan. Okay? Paano natin sila ngayon a-assign ng number? Saan ba tayo mag-start? Sa dulo? Dito ba tayo mag-start ng 1? Or dito tayo mag-start ng 1? Okay. So, kapag ka nag-assign tayo ng number, we assign the number such that the substituents are nearest to the first or to the edge of the branch or to the edge of the chain. Yung pinakamalapit sa edge ng chain na substituent, dun tayo mag-start ng number. Okay? Since itong um, itong substituent na to ay mas malapit dito kaysa dito, dito tayo mag-start ng number 1. Okay? So, it's practical kasi para mababa lang yung bilang natin ng mga substituents. Okay? So, burahin ko lang muna yung ibang part. Okay? Ayan. Okay? So, ganyan. So, dito tayo mag-start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, sa 3 position, meron tayong methyl group. So, 3 methyl. Okay? Um, erase na. So, 3 methyl. Okay? And, dun sa 4 position, meron tayong ethyl. Kasi dalawa yung carbon nung substituent. Sa 4, ethyl. Okay. Yan na yung mga substituents natin. Ngayon, pwede na natin siyang ini Kasi the alkane is octane. Dahil sa kanyang 8 carbons. ba? So, ano mauuna? Si 3 methyl or si 4 ethyl? So, ang ano natin, ang ating uh, convention dito ay alphabetical. So, since alphabetical, magsulat tayo ng alphabetically um, arranged na substituents. So, 4, ethyl. So, to uh, separate substituents, okay, lalagay tayo ng dash. And to separate the position of the substituent to the substituent itself, dash din ang lalagay niya. Or hyphen. Okay? 4 ethyl, 3 methyl. Una ang ethyl sa methyl alphabetically. So, 4 ethyl, 3 methyl, pero kung hindi nyo nalalagyan ng space after ng methyl, octane. Okay? Walang space between the methyl or the, the prefix and the uh, actual parent chain. So, this is the name of compound number 1. Okay? So, gawin lang natin yung solutions natin. So, this will be 4 ethyl 3 methyl pentane. Okay? Ganyan mag-name. So, punta na tayo sa number 2. So, which is the longest chain? So, bilang muna tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 to. So, kapag ito yung ginawa natin chain naman, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 lang yun. So, itong chain na to yung pipiliin natin. Okay? So, ano yung substituent? Ito yung substituent. That's a methyl group. At position, so hindi natin alam kung anong number, ba? So, mag-start tayo dun sa kung saan siya mas malapit na edge. Na, or sa ang end siya mas malapit. So, ito yung 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, nasa carbon number 3 siya. So, the name is 3 methyl. Since there are 9 okay, carbons in the pairing chain, no name. So, that's the name of compound number 2. Okay? 
So, lo- let's look at compound number 3. So, dito na tayo mag-start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, that's an uh, dodecane. So, 12 carbons, dodecane yan. And we have a metal group position that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so 5 methyl dodecane. Okay. Do decane. Okay, and finally for number 4, I know longest chain. So I think this is the longest chain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ito yung longest chain. So, 7. So, ano ang mga substituents niya? So, 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Tatlo ang methyl. So, anong positions? So, mag-start tayo dun sa end na pinakamalapit ang substituent. Ito, dalawang carbons before the methyl group. Okay? So, dito tayo mag-start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? Hindi tayo mag-start dito sa end na to kasi dalawang carbon pa before the first methyl group. Dito, isang carbon lang before the first methyl group. Okay? So, anong name? Since pare-pareho silang methyl group, okay, ilalagay natin sila together. 2, 4, 5. Okay? Since tatlo yung methyl group, we will uh, write tri- methyl okay and since it has 7 carbons heptane okay so that's for uh, naming uh, straight chain alkanes with uh, substituents that are also alkanes